Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. This is Indigo here bringing you your mid-August love reading. This will go from about the 12th to the 19th or so. Uh, energy is fluid obviously though. All right, Libra, what do we got going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tip you guys down here. There. I'm in my new space, and it's so much brighter, and it's so nice. I'm so excited. Okay. So the bottom of your deck, Libras, is the tower. Something's going to come and shake your world up. Um, it has something to do with somebody that you love, have a lot of uh, emotions for, but this is setting you up for your Ten of Pentacles um, because you're holding back, moving on from something uh, that you need to move on from in order for those Ten of Pentacles to come into fruition. So the universe is stepping in and uh, helping you out with that. Okay, so in your guys' energy, you have the Seven of Swords. However, I do not feel there's any cheating line or anything of that sort. I feel that you are cheating yourself. You are moving from the seven to the eight, however, um, but you're still you're still cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself out of a beautiful um, Sagittarius uh, or any fire sign for that matter. I don't know why I just said Sagittarius, but it must be important to somebody. But you're blocking this person um, because you're afraid. You're afraid to choose them. You're afraid to start something new because of something that had hurt you in the past. And um, the universe is going to come in and, and help you out with that one. They're going to shove you in the right direction. Uh, yeah, you have a choice to make with the lover's card here in reverse. Um, and you're just not making it. Uh, you will, though, however, by the end of this time frame. The person you are dealing with is the fool in reverse. So they're they're hesitant about a new beginning as well. They're scared to take the leap um, because you guys are marrying each other. However, they are ready to birth something new with you. They are ready to start something, create something, um, something that they're very passionate about. Because They're over the heartbreak that they had endured in the past from a past relationship. And they're very passionate about you. They are ready to, to take on the world with you. Um, your guys' overall energy is the nine of cups. So wish fulfillment. Uh, what what you want is coming to you. You just have to have faith that it's coming. Um, keep your positive affirmations, your prayers, your visualizations. Keep doing that. It's coming towards you. It's coming for you. Um, this person is very loving, nurturing. Um, this could be you as well. But you guys are going to be very successful. The Ten of Pentacles just popped up while I was shuffling as well, as well as this deck. So um, financially, you guys are going to find success. This person thinks very logically. Um, instead of with their heart. So, or this is you, Libra. Um, let your heart space uh, grow a little bit because you're thinking more out of your head than your heart and it's blocking this person from a new beginning with you. You do have a wall up very high and I don't see them being able to penetrate that wall uh, quite yet in this uh, week's outlook. But, um, but I do see you... Uh, breaking free from that and moving into a relationship with this person that I'm talking about. So, like I said, you're cheating yourself out of happiness. The Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the Seven of Swords. There is no other person in this relationship. You are doing this to yourself. You're blocking your blessings of this Ten of Pentacles, Libra, out of fear. Um, you, this Eight of Swords, you're this feeling of stuck. And it's not it's stuck in a relationship with somebody. It's a feeling of stuck like you're scared to move on with this fire sign. This is the same fire sign that's right next to you. Um, and here is the chariot in reverse. This is just all um, reiterating what I just said. The chariot's in reverse. So you're refusing to move forward with this person because you are scared. Uh, your overall energy is, yeah, the lovers clarified by the six of wands in reverse. So you're not making a choice because you're afraid you'll make the wrong choice. You're afraid you will take the wrong path. You will get hurt again and you will be right back to square one of what you've tried so hard to get over. Um, 
the person that you're dealing with, they have the full reverse clarified by the seven cups. So they're they're holding off making a leap of faith with you as well because um, they have a lot of options for one, but they're confused by why you're acting the way you're acting. You're kind of distant, uh, distant lately, Libra. You're in and out. Uh, the Empress has been clarified by the King of Wands in reverse. So they're ready to make a new beginning with you. They're ready to uh, start uh, and create something with you. But um, something's just not right. Someone's not in the right vibration. The Five of Cups is here, clarified by the Tower. So um, they are finally getting over an emotional heartbreak in their life that happened in the past. They're getting over that. And the Six of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Wands. So they're moving in a direction and following their passion, following their heart. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful energy. This is a beautiful person you're dealing with, Libra. Don't let them get away. The Nine of Cups is being clarified by the Magician in reverse. You don't feel like you have what it takes to make these prayers come true, to make these wishes come true, but you do. Have confidence. Have faith. Have There's there's power in faith. It's amazing. You, you create what you think, so keep the faith. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Two of Swords, so you do have uh, a choice to make. You are making it, and you're choosing um, one that is loving, nurturing, there for you, cares about you. Um, and you are going to make the right choice. So don't fear this lover's card up here. Um, the King of Swords is being clarified by the Page of Cups. So you could have a child with this other person. Um, I'm seeing one child, one daughter. Um, and their concern, your concern is about that. Um, Libra, it's going to work out. Don't worry. Um, and the Seven of Wands is being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So you're keeping your wall up, your guard up. You're being, you're getting impatient with yourself because you know you're doing this. You know, you realize it, um, and you still don't know how to stop it. Um, but it is all going to work out. This is a very good, um, very good week. There's not a whole lot of movement, but you're getting a lot of mental, getting through a lot of mental uh, breakthroughs that, that you've been struggling with. And uh, this is going to ascend to a higher level of commitment. Spirit Angels, can I get one advice card for Libra in the week of the 12th through the 17th, please? One card of advice. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. What was I just saying? Faith, faith, faith. There's power in faith. Um, not only trust yourself, but trust the universe. Trust your journey. Trust that they know what they're doing. Um and most of all, trust this person. They're not trying to deceive you. They're not trying to pull one over on you. This person is for real. This person's legit. They're here for the right reasons. They love you. They want a life with you. They want to continue with you. This is a beautiful week of energy. Um, so Libra, embrace it and uh, and get ready for a, a relationship that is going to take you on a wild ride in the most beautiful way. So that's what I have for you guys for the week of, uh, for your mid months. Um, yeah, gorgeous. I just, I, I'm getting goosebumps. It's so nice. So, um, Libra, you guys deserve it. You guys have had a hell of a year. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. If you are a returning viewer, I want to thank you for coming back and I much appreciate each and every one of you. Love, light, and God bless everyone.